You are now watching the Mark Ballard Show right here on Pack 14. Welcome to another edition of the Mark Ballot Show. I have a very special guest, Miss April Star Alexander. She represents Positive Reinforcement in Princess Anne, Maryland, and in Wacomical County. How you doing, Miss April? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me. It ain't no problem. Um, what is Positive Reinforcement? We are a nonprofit, community-based organization that helps former incarcerated or, like we say, returning citizens um, when they come home with services. With services. Uh, what kind of services services do you provide? Well, we have reentry coordinators. They provide the case management. We have mentors. Um, they work in tandem with the case managers, so mm -hmm. they're there for emotional support. Mm -hmm. um, we also have um, budget and money management. We have employment readiness. Mm. We have parenting classes, anger management, community service, and those are just to name a few. Wow. This is really nice to have something like this in the community, everyone. If y'all are very interested of getting on your feet when you've been, this is also for people who's been released from jail or prison, right? Yes, this is specifically for um, people who were released from prison. Mm hmm See, um, the reason why I'm doing this type of segment because a lot of brothers and sisters are coming home and y'all probably don't have no sense of direction instead of running straight to the streets. Y'all can run the positive reinforcement and get on your feet. You feel me? What is recidivism? Recidivism is when a person commits a crime, gets punished, gets released, and reoffends again. Oh, it's like repeatedly doing the same it, thing? Repeatedly doing the same thing. And you gotta stop walking through this revolving door. They go on the same old cycle, the same cycle, get locked up for the same thing. Something's got to add up. Y'all gotta get it together out here. Everyone, you know what I'm saying? What are the risk factors of all of this? So the risk factors of a person coming home are not having the support system, not having um, a job, personal documents is a, is a major risk factor, mm -hmm. um, family issues um, can also be play a part as well. With those, we want to be that support system for when a person is um, coming home and they do, do not have that um, support system, we want to be that mm -hmm. support system. Yeah. Um, we will also want to be able to help them connect to um, housing, um, employment. Um, we do work with Best Temps. We have uh, actually have an office in Best Temps right now um, that we work out of in um, Wicomico. Do you have transitional housing? No, but that is one thing that we are looking into. Hmm, that's a good idea. We don't have transitional housing but, in Somerset. Right. Wow, that's crazy. So where are you located? We are located in Princess Anne, um, right near Spikes, 30260 Mount Vernon Road in Princess Anne, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how can people reach out to you even when you, if you know, just to get some help? How can they reach out to you? We do have a website, which is www.positivereinforcements.org. Um, they can call us at 410-651-3100. We are looking for mentors right now. How do you feel about all this stuff is going on as far as the government um, being slow with everybody's money, like far as tax returns and all that? Do you think it's because of the inflation or anything like that? What, how do you feel about that? I want my money and I want it now. I know, that's what we all say. We, all, we want our money and we want it now. <laughs> Do you help teenagers? No, not at, not at the moment. So right now we're, we're, we want to get this program up and running and then eventually do a juvenile program. Yeah, definitely. And then eventually after that do um, something in domestic violence. Right, because uh, the kids out here these days, um, I, I, to tell you the truth, I don't know what road these kids are trying to follow. Some of these kids are trying to follow, but some of them, some of them, a lot of them are headed in the wrong direction. Um, if they need to get themselves together because this world is wicked, and they need to get a grip on reality and 
try to get things panned out on to handle your responsibilities. How do you feel about that? Well, I think that the juveniles here in the communities that we do service, they do need an outlet. They do need somewhere to go, something to do um, to keep them busy. Um, we, with positive reinforcements, once we get our juvenile program up and running, they're going to have that. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have those mentors for them. Mm -hmm. um, we want to offer other programs such as, like, if they want to start their own business, they can. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We can help them in that direction. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we do want to um, establish, but we want to get this program up and running first. One step at a time. Yes, one step at a time. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it see, the thing about trying to reach out to like the young people is like, it's on my mind real heavy, and I see the things that's going on in, in the community, as far as their activities and school and it, something's got to be done, like. Because our babies are going to school and they have to see this crazy stuff that's going on in schools and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's off the chain. And just try to come up with a solution where they can gravitate towards some type of positivity instead of just gravitate towards the street stuff. Because there ain't no love out here in these streets. Y'all know that already. And jail's waiting for you. You know what I mean? Y'all, like, some of y'all act like y'all want to embrace jail. Like, where they do that at? Y'all need to get yourself together, man. I want to see everybody do good. Nobody, want, the, the, the worst place I want to see somebody is in jail. What do you think about that, Ms. Uh, April? Well, yes, that's the reason why we have positive reinforcements. Once we start our juvenile program, they will have an outlet. They will Grown have something people to too. Go. Grown people, too, act like they don't know what's going on in there. <laughs> Get it together. You feel me? Um, I want to see everybody free and, and, and do what they're supposed to do, take care of their responsibilities as men and grown men and women. You know what I'm saying? Um, any shout outs you want to send out to everybody? Any special shout outs or anybody? Um, just a shout out to my team. Um, they have been amazing, mm -hmm. um, helping me create um, positive reinforcements from the ground up. Mm -hmm. um, we are um, also looking for any donations. Um, so we have um, suits available for uh, for people who are looking to interview. Mm -hmm. um, so we're always looking for clothing donations for men, women, mm -hmm. children. Um, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, and they could just drop them off. Yeah, y'all heard it. Uh, if y'all have any donations, clothing, or anything like that, um, contact Rock Positive Reinforcement. That's 410-651-3100. If y'all want to reach out to Positive Reinforcement, holler at Miss April Star Alexander and Crystal Mills. <laughs> Hey, Crystal. Hey, McCoy, Curtis. Hey, everybody from Positive Reinforcement. Um, I can send a shout-out to everybody who's tuning in to the Mark Ballot Show. Um, special shout-out to Rat Fiend Radio, Rush the Guillotine, and Epiphany. I can say what's going on with my man Roland. I can say what's going on with my cousin Sawan. I can send a shout-out to everybody who's keeping it 100 with me um, all the way around the board. You know what I'm saying? And i also like to send a shout-out uh, rest in peace to my cousin Willie Ballard. Um, may he may God rest his soul. You know what I'm saying. And, um, all my love and um, condolences is to my family. Uh, this is a hard one, but we can go get through this, y'all. You already know. In Buffalo, New York, that mass shooting they had out there. Do you heard anything about that? No, cause I stopped watching news and TV. All this bad news we hear on it's, TV. Uh, depressing. Yeah, I saw it is that. very that depressing. Because there's a lot of it's crazy out there in Buffalo. It was like 10 people that got shot. Black black folks uh they got shot. Mm -hmm. Uh that's that's sad man. It was on a was a Saturday. It was on a Saturday and uh some guy just came out of nowhere and just started shooting. And uh, it's sad and uh mm -hmm. very cruel for somebody to even think have that type of mentality to just go out here and just shoot up innocent people. Anybody that's done doing some type of terrorism like that, that's just what it is. It's terrorism. So uh, it's sad, but my condolences goes out to the families who's involved with that in um, Buffalo, New York. Okay, what are, what are your services? I service Somerset, Wacomico, Worcester, and Dorchester. Oh, all three lower shores. Yes. That's cool. Listen, you're in Worcester now and 
Dorchester? Well, we are trying to establish an office in Dorchester. We do have a office in Worcester County in Pocomoke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's cool. What made you come up with an idea of starting an organization called Positive Reinforcement? Well, I started Positive Reinforcements because there have been, I've had family members and friends that have been incarcerated um, in and out of prison. Um, and when I came to Princess Anne, I always wanted to start a nonprofit, so I figured, mm-hmm. what would I want to start my nonprofit at? Mm-hmm. And so, hearing stories of friends and family members of being incarcerated repeatedly and not getting help when they got out, mm-hmm. um, that's when a light bulb came and was like, well, why don't I start something helping people who are in dealing with recidivism? That's a, that's recidivism. Hmm. Can't can't keep going through that revolving door. Like I said earlier, we can't continue to do that. We are getting older out here, and it's time to change up the pace and just do some positive things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We started March of 2020 during the pandemic. Um, It was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, mostly Mm. tears. Mm -hmm. Um, Just trying to get something um, started from the bottom Mm -hmm. is uh, um, very difficult, Mm -hmm. but we were able to manage and, you know, we're starting to grow. We're starting to, you know, people starting to know who we are. Um, We're making a lot of connections throughout Mm -hmm. the community. So um, things are, you know, getting better. Um, So people who are who are trying to understand my mission and my vision um, started to grasp the reality of recidivism and reentry and why it is such needed in the communities that we service. Can you explain to what to them what reentry means? Reentry um, just means coming back into society. Society. Mm -hmm. Coming back into society is not um, an easy thing for a person who has been incarcerated, especially if they've been incarcerated for more than 10 years. A lot of things have changed when they are released. So they have that, you know, that that shock of when they're returning, everything is different. Mm -hmm. Nothing stops when they are are incarcerated. So um, there's a lot of things they have to learn. Um, computers, technology in, within itself, they Even have to cell learn. phones. Yeah, cell phones is a big thing. Um, I had one client that um, did not know how to use his cell phone. You know, so it was, you know, <laughs> hard, you There's know. A couple people I know that don't know how to use a cell phone neither, but uh, they make it with the times, you've heard. Ooh. But um, it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's really, um, I really appreciate what you're doing. Because great minds would come up with something like that. You have a great mind to come up with some type of plan like this to reach out for people who have no sense of direction. And that's very important that we need this in our in our communities. You know what I'm saying? So I, I double salute y'all. Um, that's definitely A plus for real. Well, thank you. I mean, it's like I said, it's been hard because... Um, when we started, we self-funding. Mm. So we're funding this ourselves. Mm. So that will tell you right there that we are very dedicated mm-hmm. in, um, you know, making this a success. Mm. That's serious. Community, we need to get in tune with these positive stuff that's going on in our community, man. Just last week, they had a, a block party in Princess Anne. It was like a street jam on every first Thursday they're having down in Princess Anne now. And they had the group Uprising come through, and they're a good group, and they sound real good. It was just like a handful of people at this event. They had free food uh, at, at um, Hawk's Corner in Princess Anne. I mean, it was a very nice event. People need to start uh, coming to attend these events. Bring your babies out. It's not but, not but positive fun in this it is free. Like, come on, y'all. We need to get a grip on our communities, man, and really, and really step out and have some fun with our kids and stuff. Do some different things instead of just doing what you're doing right now. I don't know what you're doing, but do something positive. I think that's all, y'all, for today. Um, special guest, positive reinforcement, Miss April Star Alexander. 
here to shed some light and let everybody know what direction to go in if they have no way to turn. Um, just reach out to Positive Reinforcement. And once again, the phone number is 410-651-3100. Holler at Positive Reinforcement. If you know somebody's being released out of jail or prison, lead them in that direction so they won't be freelancing out on these streets. You understand what I'm talking about? And uh, that's it for the Mark Ballot Show for today. Um, Y'all stay encouraged and pray for one another and, and be there for one another. Salute. Peace.